Hello, and welcome to the One Word Show, the most sought after but frequently forgotten show in the whole world. I am Big Daddy Jay, or Jason Joyner. I go by either one. And my guest tonight is Jaleesa Blakely, also known as Dilly Bean. Hi. So, Jaleesa, do you have any idea why you're here tonight? I have no clue. None at all? No. I didn't even know I was going to be up here until like a little bit ago. Wait, so you agreed to come on a show that you had no idea what was going on with it? Yeah, thought it'd be fun. All right, then that's why I invited her to be on the show, folks. She <laughs> just loves to get down. So, um, have you heard of One Word Show before? No, I haven't. Okay, so here's how it works. I have randomly generated words. I'm okay. going to give you two of them. Okay. You need to pick which word you would like to discuss, and then we will have a discussion about said word. Okay. Seem easy enough? Sure. Okay, you don't have to worry about phoning a friend or anything like that. That's copyrighted <laughs> for something okay, else. Okay, good. All right, so because I have a goldfish memory, I'm going to just look back here at my words. All right, okay. our words were giants or ice. Mm, I'm going to go with ice. Ice. All right, that's a very good choice. Now, before we get into ice, mm -hmm. why did you not choose giants? Um, because I grew up a really tall kid and I got called giants a lot. So really when I think of giants, I just think of sad. So, so, so for you, <laughs> giants make you sad. Yes. Yes. Do you find that like dwarfs or like, like little mythical creatures make you sad as well? Or is it just the larger ones? Um, I never really thought about it. I no. just little, I've never even met a little person before, so no. I wouldn't know. Okay. And people named Jack don't bother you, do they? They do. It's, I find them very odd. People it, named Jack. Do you think that's correlated with the <laughs> giant and maybe the beanstalk? No, not at all. Okay. All right. Well, I just wanted to delve into that just a little bit more. Okay. So let's go with the word that you did choose. Okay. Are ice. you regretting your decision yet? No, Perfect. not yet. Let's keep going. All right. Ice. So let's talk about ice. Okay. What is it about ice that made you drawn to it? Um, it's cold. I like the cold. Okay, you like the cold? Yes. I like now see, that's kind of unusual. I find that maybe just being a, a guy, most women I run into don't like the cold. In fact, my girlfriend, she stays in a hibernated state from basically September all the way through May. So she's just huddled up warm all oh, the time. Oh, totally huddled up warm. In <laughs> fact, as soon as I get home, she's like <laughs> and it's, it's pretty aggressive actually because I'm so warm and she just wants to find well, the heater. I mean, I guess I'm pretty aggressive when I want to be, if I'm too hot, oh, I get so sassy. Yeah? Not a good sassy either. Oh, no, okay. I was going to say, isn't no. sassy usually a good thing? No, I get very mean sassy. If it's oh. too hot, if it gets above 70 degrees, I'm done. So like... No more for me. Means Mean sassy like... What a porcupine meets like a panther, or what like <laughs> more what like a mean, porcupine exactly? and an armadillo because, like, I'm a spike you, but you know, I'm just gonna sit back and look at you but too. But you're tough too, I yeah. Oh, I got that, you know, that, <laughs> that's the perfect <laughs> kind of sassy. I like that. So, with the ice and being cold, is there other things about the ice that you like? I mean, obviously, it's cold, it's good for drinks. Um, Definitely. penguins, penguins, penguins. All right, let's talk about penguins here for a minute, because I, you know, penguins are a very interesting topic for me. I, are they? Yes. I didn't know that. Well, Why? how so? If you think about it, penguins. Mm -hmm. If you believe in any kind of evolution at all, <laughs> or like you know, yeah, adapting to your surroundings to survive. Uh huh. Penguins are a direct <laughs> contradiction to that belief. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if you not really, because you only evolve if you need to. It's your genes, the best genes passed on for survival. So that means penguins are superior beings. Wow, <laughs> you know, I, it's hard to argue with that logic. <laughs> I was thinking the other direction with, you know, you can't even wave really good. You're just, <laughs> <laughs> and then you walk along and all your flipper's good for is like knocking another penguin over. and. Well, like they fall yeah, into the water, like too. that's a mistake. You just have no choice. <laughs> You're out. You're like, ah, oh, crap, I'm out of here. Not superior. And then there's like dinner. Well, I mean, you, if you're, if you're a penguin or if you're an animal living in Antarctica, wait, are, there's no penguins on Antarctica, is there? Uh, I am not a penguin expert. North Pole? North Pole. I, I know there's some in Chile, Argentina. Really? Yes. They're gets warm that cold penguins. There? They're warm Or maybe they're cold. My brother went there to once for like and a couple years. And he said there was years, penguins there? Wild penguins. Wild penguins. 
Well, he said they were pretty <laughs> wild. I don't think they went drinking or anything, but like, you know, for a penguin, maybe average. <laughs> I don't know. I just, so anyway, penguins. Okay, so yeah. cold. Mm-hmm. And did you know there's one called a macaroni you're penguin? Just, now you're just making No, it they up. got little noodles. <laughs> <laughs> noodles on their head. And it looks like macaroni? That's the name I, macaroni? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. I don't know. I watched Happy Feet not too long ago. Yeah? And yeah. <laughs> Happy Feet. That is an absolutely horrible movie. I don't know why anybody would <laughs> what? watch it. It's so, Elijah it's just, Wood is so cute. But it's just a bunch of penguins that dance. Mm -hmm. Well, only one of them dances. It just makes you sad because he's an dance. outsider. It just now we're this discrimination. Yeah, it's but penguin also discrimination. Robin Williams is in that movie. Oh, well, that's true. And Robin Williams is pretty awesome. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I believe he was the mac. No, Lovelace was the macaroni penguin. Lovelace. Okay. So Lovelace, Macaroni, Penguin, Ice. Yes. Now we're back to where we started at a little bit. I like <laughs> yeah. that. No, it's fun. I like to see where we go and the flow and everything else. Anything else about Ice that really just gets you going? Um, I don't know. I think that's the extent of... That's the extent of the ice? Well, yeah. Julissa, thanks so much for coming in tonight. Not um, a problem. I know I had a good time. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for joining us. If you'd like to hear more, if you enjoyed the show, Follow us. Uh, I'm still new at this. So I wrote it down. Wrote down cheat sheets for me, guys. Just bear with me. I'll get it right eventually. All right. So our YouTube channel, and then you can hit the bell button for notifications. It looks like a bell, and you hit it with the clicker thingy. All right. But so we're on, so we're at. You can find more episodes as well at www.onewordshow.com. If you're in the Milwaukee area, if you want to be on the show, go to our site. Let me know. Shoot me a message. If you're cooler than me, which is pretty popular, we'll have you on. If you're not cooler than me, we'll still have you on. <laughs> All right, until next time, you guys just be easy. Love, peace, and bacon grease. We're out. Finger guns. Finger guns. <laughs>